In today's video, we're opening Walmart blisters from all the way back in 2017. What's up guys, we are back and we are opening things that we've opened many times on the channel, but it's been quite a while because these 2017 blisters are now getting harder and harder to find because there's been the 25th anniversary wave and now those are becoming blisters and these are not really available at Walmarts anymore. So they're becoming a little bit more rare. I mean, it's still a 2017 reprint, so it's not like crazy or anything, but it's a lot cooler than the 25th anniversary because they're in the old style and everything like that. Plus there's uh, potential cards in the back could have a ghost shirt. This one's a little bit open, so I figured it'd be perfect to open up. Before we get into it, I'll be giving away this Mechanized Madness structure deck, which ironically enough comes from Walmart mystery boxes a lot of the time. A cool thing I realized about this though, is if you're gonna play Machina in Edison, there's a couple of cards in here that you want like gear frame and the, uh, what is the 2500 guy called? Fortress, yeah. So there's a couple cards in there that you want. And there's probably a couple other ones, but Pot of Avarice, some other good stuff. So it's actually pretty good if you're gonna play a Machina deck in Edison or wanna put it together. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about the 2017 reprints nowadays compared to maybe what you thought a few years ago before the 25th reprint and everything? Because I used to just think of these as, ah, these are just the cheap version that you could open up but now it's kind of like these are kind of cool a lot cooler than the 25th and that's what we have easier access to at the moment and we're going to discuss a little bit about some of the prices on these things like the uh the lowest price i see on an lob one of these is like 32.99 plus 3.99 shipping so like over 35 bucks to get one of these it's pretty insane they were originally sold at eight dollars a piece for these and i think these were sold at five uh, these just have a legendary pack inside. That's it. So I did grab a few different ones. I think we have all the original legendary collection sets except Dark Crisis. So that's fine because it's Dark Crisis. So let's start off with this one because it's already open. The cards inside can be fun because, you know, they usually suck, but every once in a while you might get something decent like a God card or something like that. So right off the bat, we have Power Code Talker and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. So that is not a great start on terms of the random cards. Valkyrie Chariot, we got a Mordschlag and... Uh, some other 10 ye card. Okay, Invasion of Chaos. Obviously, we're looking for the same old, same old that we've always been looking for. We're looking for Chaos Ember Dragon. We're looking for Demok. We're looking for BLS. And those are all amazing cards to pull. And uh, if we get any of those, we're going to be very, very happy. We have Skullmark Ladybug. Earth Enchant, and this just feels so much better than opening 25th because it's all old school feel. Uh, Don Turtle, even though they don't look anything like the old school cards in terms of the coloring, the format of them looks a lot like the old school and it's a little bit better. Beyond that, if we have Matazza the Zapper. And a Chaos Rider Gustav started off with a super rare, which is always a good start. We don't have a ton of packs today. I think it's like 18 or something like that. But because there's all the extra cards, it'll end up being longer than a booster box probably. Okay, let's do, let's alternate between these. Let's just do the one with the legendary pack. This is Pharaoh's Servant. So I do have, a, I, mean, I think the same amount of every pack. We probably have 15 packs, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how many it is. Pharaoh's Servant. This is Genzo time. It has been actually a long time since we pulled the Genzo. You know, we have the uh, the rhyme style quote, you know, it's not a Ruxin video without pulling Genzo, but we haven't pulled Genzo in a while. So we haven't had a video in a long time. We have Wing Weaver. We have Solomon's Law Book. Deep Sea Warrior, Kisitai, that little I used this card the other day in a video, and it was hilarious. Not a video of mine, but head-to-head -head battles we recorded together. This card was actually insanely clutch. It was so the little finger, which is like, you know, he's very creepy, so it fits his name very well. But yeah, it went off actually. Earthshaker, we have Sword Hunter. So keep an eye out for that video. And uh Hibusa Knight, and then a Garucha and a Kuwagata. So nothing crazy except, of course, the Kisitai, which was fun. So now we'll move on to Spell Ruler. Let's see what we can get. Can we get something crazy out of the bonus cards? I'm guessing it's mostly going to be garbage, right? But the thing is, these are so old. Like, it's going to be old cards. So I guess this is my Mega Pack 18. So some of these did come out after 2017, but these are the 2017 boosters. So they were repackaged after 2017, probably, but uh, in some cases. But the actual packs themselves are 2017 reprints, which you can tell if you guys look at 2017 reprints. You look down here, 2017, at 2017. That's how you tell. I have full videos on Metal Raiders and LOB, opening every version of LOB and every version of Metal Raiders. Go check those out if you haven't seen them. And it will kind of explain the differences on every single version of these packs. because They've been printed like 10 times. So... If you want to see the different versions and of what you're opening or what you have potentially, go watch those videos. I also do opening as well in those videos. So it's not just informative, it's also an opening. So it's fun. Firecracking, we have Kappa, Curse of Fiend, Crab Turtle, Heels on Root, Rising Air Current. Why does it? Oh, that was a rare. Yeah, I forgot Heels on was a rare. It almost looks like a common at that angle. You see that? That was like a common. Then you move it, you're like, oh, there it is. All right, let's try a spell ruler again. Is this, wait, did we just do spell ruler? We're gonna do back-to-back -back spell ruler, that's fine. Spell ruler, can we pull something crazy right here? One, two, three, four, floppity flip, flippity flop. We've got Boar Soldier, he's a terrible card. We have Spirit Cretan, he's an annoying card. Toll, a very annoying card. Gaia Power, little tree action, chopping those trees in RuneScape. We have R Hungry Burger. Uh, okay, Tempt Nimble Wonga, and 
the Reliable Guardian. So we have one foil so far. This is not off to a great start. Let's try to turn this thing around. We do have an LOB pack though, and this could be really big. You know, LOB 20 feet, 2017 Blue Eyes is still worth a decent amount. All right, and we have inside a Mega Dragon and a Vorticular Drum Dragon. All right, sure. Meteor Black Dragon, Tomb Goblin Attack Force is cool. Goki Guts. Anything interesting. Buzzsaw Shark. Yeah, classic. Uh, Dual Link Special. Go keep it. That feels like a lot of cards. 16. You're definitely not supposed to get that many. Eight commons, two rares. We got 16 commons. They doubled up. That's an error pack. They gave us two, two supers like they're supposed to, but then instead of eight commons, they gave us 16. So error package right there very epic now let's get an error lov pack and pull five blue eyes right here one two three four flippity flop floppity flip can we get that blue eyes yami we have woody phantom wasteland our mail silver bow and arrow terror the terrible tyone carbonala warrior and skull servant the skull servant he's a common but he is skull servant i'm gonna i'm gonna count that as a hit that's a good that's a good card okay pharaoh's servants let's keep it going Jinzo time, our second chance at Pharaoh's Servant. Will it be something insane or will it be garbage? We will find out. Fourth from the back, flippity flop on the fifth and sixth. Gamble, that's what we're doing. We're gambling for that blue eyes, that Jinzoki style little finger. It saved me the other day. Cyber Falcon, Gradius, Magic Drain, an insect imitation very nice except not really okay invasion of chaos back to it give us something good in these in these cards are we gonna get another error card oh we got a first edition rise of destiny rare and then a oh that's actually used to be a money card out of tactical evolution the pathfinder that's pretty good uh anything else crazy we got the right amount of cards that time it seems like ioc big three can you please bless us one two three four we want to pull, I would want Chaos Emperor Dragon the most. It just, it looks good in 2017 reprint, I'm not going to lie. Crimson Ninja, Torpedo Fish, Spear Shellfish, Soul Tigre with 2100 defense. We got Shield, Ultra Evolution Pill. <sighs> Gigantis. Good card, good card, but not a foil. Okay, let's go to an LOB legendary pack right here. Let's see, when were these packaged? By Fairfield Company. Okay. No data that I can see, unless I'm missing it. Probably missing it, but yeah, okay. Here we go. LOB. So far, one foil. So it's been pretty rough. I've had these uh, for a long time. These have been sitting around for like a year at least. And so I'm hoping there was something crazy in there that I that I missed for a long time. Dissolve Rock, Sparks, Flame Manipulator. Gonna make that Flame Swordsman. Misaki's gonna make that Flame Swordsman. Isn't that the two? Isn't that two? Flame Manipulator and Misaki? I think that's the combo. Maneater, Hinotama. Let's do it right now. Aquamador. Okay, we didn't get Flame Swordsman. That's all right. Another Pharaoh Servant. Oh, this one's kind of open too. Perfect. So let's get to it. Nice and easy. A couple rares. That's brutal. Okay. Rares, not great. Valdalgion, the Dark Dragon Lord. Sure. We are 0 for 3, 0 for 4, or something like that. No, not 0 for 4. I think 0 for 3 on Pharaoh's server. Let's see if we can turn that around. Chin Javelin, Flying Comic Hearing, Numero Dose, Thousand Eyes Idol. Gonna make that Thousand Eyes Restrict. I'm gonna dismiss a Flame Champion. Bombardment Beetle, Mad Sword Beast, and. Ooh, Fairy Meteor Crush. We got a foil to something. It's a super rare. It looks pretty good, honestly. Nice and shiny. 2017 reprints. They could they could look pretty good. I mean, just because they're reprints doesn't mean they can't look nice. Uh, we have two more of these packs, and then we have more of the other ones. Let's try Spell Ruler. Spell Ruler. Uh, so our two pulls are I one IOC Super, one Pharaoh Servant Super. So nothing out of Spell Ruler yet. Give us a chance right here, Spell Ruler, to pull something good. Griggle. He's creepy. Luminous Spark. Give Chain Energy here. Another Ruxa Special. Molten Destruction. Queen Bird Ruxa Special. These are really hard not to Ruxa Special. A Metal Fish with a Razor Shop Caudal Fin. You gotta watch out. Nimble Manga and Invader of the Throne. Another Super. It's Super Central out here. All Supers. No Ultras. No Secrets. Let's turn that around ASAP. Let's try a Metal Raiders pack. Our first try at Metal Raiders today. I didn't have any of those other versions of Metal Raiders. I only had this version had two of these extra cards that's from legendary collection kaiba okay battles of legend lights revenge okay dragoonity vampire and maverick for hire that's okay because we can get the pequeno moth here metal raiders can pull us pequeno moth it can pull us a lot of ultra rares a lot of good ones solemn judgment uh mirror force beast skull dragon summon skull i mean there's a lot of great stuff swamp battle guard niwatori what's that mean again cheerful coffin hiasube sword of deep seated we have baby dragon 
Fake trap, and don't we give us a fake card? Beast skull right here? No, it's a Labyrinth Tank. All right. Giga Tech Wolf and Cannon Soldier create Labyrinth Tank. This would have been a cool foil, to be honest. It would have been pretty awesome. All right, last legendary pack. Then we go to the, uh, or at least the ones without the cards extra. I think we have a few more of those. <sighs> last chance, it's LOB. Can it be the card that we're searching for? One, two, three, four, flippity flop. We have Kurama, Flame Manipulator. Yami. Dark World Thorns, Yurabi, Forest, Ruxin Special, in Warrior number two, Fissure, and here we go. Oh, a Mystical Elf. It's all supers today. It's all supers. Okay, I mean, it's a good card. It's a foil. We'll take it. We would like to get something above a super, though. That would be really nice. We have four packs left. It looks like one of each. So let's just go with Spell Ruler first. Looks like not much in these extras so far. Yeah, two rares, not great. A crawler, yeah, not not awesome stuff there. That's fine. Spell ruler, it's really about the contents of the spell ruler pack. Relinquished, blue eyes, blue eyes too would be big. That would be really big. We have Gaia Power, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Final Destiny, Weather Report, Commencement Dance, Mechanical Snail, Upstart Goblin, Shining Angel, and Flash Assailant, another dud. On to Pharaoh Servant, can you contain the legendary Genzo? This one seems to be a little bit up. A lot of these were kind of open, but they've been sitting around a while, so that makes sense. That looks like an old card right there. You can tell by the back. Look at that, that's definitely an old card. Interesting, we'll see what that is in a second. Salvage Warrior, Code Breaker, Zero Day, all right. And this looks like it's out of Rise of Destiny or something. Oh, LODT, that had this kind of scuffing too, interesting. Nimble Musasabi, that's like Nimble Manga's like cousin or something interesting pharaoh servant three packs left before we are done with today's video one two three four if you've enjoyed it make sure to subscribe don't forget to check out ruxon34.com a lot of stuff available over there for you to purchase whether it be sealed psa all that different stuff all right let's see if we can get a genzo four star lady bug of doom insect barrier mr volcano that fiery finger minor goblin official flame champion shift and respect play I do not respect no Genzo. All right, leaving us with two packs left. MRD, LOB. We're gonna end with MRD. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna do LOB first. Not first edition, but we're gonna do it first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bonus cards. Give us a Ghost Rare real quick. Did you guys know I pulled a Ghost Rare one time? Yeah, it happened. Okay. Two supers. We have Shadals. All the Shadals. This is pretty cool. I have the structure deck, I guess. Four Shadal cards. Not bad. Harpy Queen. Pretty decent. Okay. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Here we go. Let's get something big. Four for the back. Flippity flop. We have Fiend Reflection. Kurama. Flame Manipulator. Yummy. Drilling Lazard. Hinotama. Umi. Carbonella Warrior. And here we go. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's make it happen. It's a Mammoth Graveyard. The Living Arrow card will uh, help defeat Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. All right. Metal Raiders. Final pack. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you've enjoyed the video. Here we go. We have a Miracle Fertilizer. And then a bunch of a Boy Cotton. That's kind of a cute little sheep. And that is it. So the bonus cards were bonus garbage. That is pretty normal. One final pack. MRD, my favorite set. Will it have the Pequeno Moth inside? Oh, hit the mic. All right. Uh, the, the pack has been opened, though. The pack has been opened. Will we get Pequeno Moth? Will we get Beast Skull? Solemn Judgment. Summon Skull. Gay Guardian. Thousand Dragon. Barrel Dragon. Any of those would be awesome. We have Mystic Lamp. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Roaring Ocean. Baby Dragon, Guilty of the D-Knight, after the Ruxin Special, Steel Scorpion, and no Pequeno Moth, unless it's in the rare slot, we would take that, here we go, give us something, last card magic, send your luck in the comments, here we go. Tainted Wisdom, all right, so we went only supers on that opening, that's pretty brutal, but that's what happens with random packs, we will hopefully be opening, uh, we will actually be opening some more old school packs very soon, so keep an eye out on the channel, next week I have a special announcement of a special event we're going to be doing next week, so keep an ear out for that, uh, it should be coming very soon, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, see you guys next time. Shout out to Toll Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengling, and Adelso Garcia Jr., thank you guys for supporting the channel, I'll see you guys next time, peace.